Hi, welcome back to Peer Tech Talk. ST launched a new low power device called STM32U Zero family. And that is taking the place over the older STM32L Zero family. And that is aimed for uh, high security but ultra low power uh, devices and applications. Here we see an overview of the full STM32 microcontroller families. In the lower left corner we see the STM32L0 and that is the main target for to be replaced within this new STM32U0 family. Please note all the parts on this slide share the same 10 years longevity badge that is uh, for already designed applications you're safe to use all these microcontroller families for several years to come. But for new designs I would recommend to look Firstly, on the latest product generation MCUs when selecting MCU for your next project. Newer MCUs are normally higher security standards and have more and better peripherals, higher performance, lower power, lower cost, and even more feature future proof. The STM32U0 comes in several pin counts from 20 to 81 pins and with several different packages, as you can see here. And ST have made some effort to make it pin compatible with their predecessors L0, L1 and L4, so maybe you are in luck there. Flash ranges from 16 to 256 kilobytes, depending on version, and there is versions with both with and without hardware crypto. Here you can see the block diagram on the superset of the stm 32 u 0 family. Many of the peripherals are aimed for low power application and one is the MSI and that is the multi-speed internal clock source. So it, since it's an internal RC oscillator it gives you flexibility, power efficiency, integrated solution since it's integrated and it gives you fast wake up and it reduces the cost since you don't need any external components. The STM32 is a secure low power microcontroller and for this it needs to have some security features. So it has a mechanism for customer code protection and there is also the, the robust readout protection and you can put the uh, readout with password for different levels uh, of security. And it also have HTTP and that stands for hide protections and uh, also gives you the secure boot. All these features give you the possibility to reach the PSA level 1, which is the platform security architecture level 1. And it's a basic level of security assurance defined by the platform security architecture, PSA. And you also have the possibility to reach the SESIP level 3, and that is the security evaluation standard for IoT platforms level 3. And that is a higher level of security assurance. Being an ultra low power microcontroller, of course, current consumption is a vital part. And the run mode on 50 MHz, microamp per megahertz is quite competitive, but that is the least interesting uh, run mode, I would say. In the lower power applications, you normally would like to have the device sleep or being a, in a low power down mode so low as you can uh, to suit your wake up requirements and stuff. And to be down in down to 28 nanoamps with six wake up pins could be really interesting. But maybe then an RTC with a sub one microamp, that would be a very useful case. I will go into these uh, current modes and make uh, tests on them and uh, that will come in a coming video. So if that is of interesting, stay tuned for that. To assist us with making designs with these STM32U0 devices, ST have launched these free development boards, and I will make some de tests on the STM32U31 R8T board, which is the lowest power consumption, so stay tuned for that. And that was just my initial uh, introduction to the, the new STM32U0. And if you found it interesting, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're not a subscriber, please consider to do so. 
And if you have my, anything that you would like to discuss with me, take it up in the comments below. So in the meantime, stay safe. Bye.